What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Cyber Union. I'm your host, Michael. And for those of you who are just joining us, again, welcome. For those of you who have been with us before here on this channel, start thinking about subscribing. Stay up to date with our latest videos and what we have going on here at the Cyber Union. Our release uh, calendar is about every two to three weeks we'll have a new video up for you. So the subscription will help you um, stay up to date when they come out. For those of you who aren't familiar with what we do here at the Cyber Union, we provide information to help those trying to get into cybersecurity get into cybersecurity. And we usually cover two tracks, the analyst track and the pen tester track. Uh, lucky for you, you've landed on a pen testing track video. In this video, we are going to cover some information to help you during your test taking of the OSCP. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So like the title says, these are the top five things I recommend you do while you are taking your exam and to prepare for the exam. Most likely, these are gonna save you a ton of time during that process. So let's start with number one. Uh, if you haven't done so already, like if you're watching this video before you even get into the labs, you can start building this into your methodology. Report as you go. Uh, this is my number one tip. Uh, I think this is about the only one in order. This is very important because you are required to write a report at the end. In fact, you passing is all reliant on the report you submit to offensive security. So if you do a bad job here, you're not gonna pass, no matter if you've popped all the systems. Make sure you write that report, you document along the way. Screenshots are key, so remember that. Anytime you have made a significant step on a system, stop, write what you did, take appropriate screenshots, and then move on. This is also gonna help if you get locked out or your shell drops, you'll be able to get right back in because you have everything you did document. Number two, this is a time saver. When you are preparing to take your exam, like the day before, go ahead and do your trip to the grocery store to grab your energy drinks, grab your snacks, grab your food, order the pizza, whatever you need to do, but you don't need to spend that 30 minutes to several hours, however long it takes for you to decide on food now, during the exam when the clock is ticking. You have 24 hours, actually just a little under 24 hours to finish hacking these systems. If you're wasting it on food, you're not using it wisely. So go ahead and have all of that prepped for you. If you have a loved one that is happy to play butler and get them to serve you food while you eat. Whatever it takes to save you time. 24 hours, that's all you get. All right, number three. This is pretty much key to your sanity is to sleep well. Get some sort of sleep. Studies show that your ability to think, reason, troubleshoot, problem solve, all go down significantly as you stay up later. So as you wane into the past 15, 16 hours of working your brain, your ability to solve these problems is gonna start waning too. So go ahead and take a nap. Take a maybe a two hour, three hour nap if you can get it, and you're gonna wake up refreshed. And who knows, maybe even solve one of your problems while you're sleeping. Make sure you get some rest. It's gonna help you in the end and it may give you that little boost you need to finish up the exam and get your pass. Number four, cheat sheets. This should have been number two, but most of these aren't in any particular order, is cheat sheets, right? Why Google stuff and waste time searching through a bunch of uncurated data during your exam time, so you're wasting time when you can do it all ahead of time. So while you're in the lab, so go ahead and take the time and start building out these cheat sheets, these references that are gonna help you solve a particular problem during the exam. I'll give you an example. During my exam, I had a list of privilege escalation techniques for both Linux and Windows. So that after I got my foothold and I was doing my post-exploitation activities, I got some indicators that it may be vulnerable to a specific type of attack. Well, I had that attack ready to go. You know, the script I needed to do it or uh, a how-to guide on how to do it quickly so I didn't have to waste time Googling it. So I just dropped it right in there, escalated privileges, and I was good to go. This even comes in handy with things like SQL injection, different types of scans you may need to do for services. Whatever it is, you have all these pre-built, ready to drop into your terminal and run against the lab. 
So again, this is gonna save you tons and tons of precious time and you'll thank me later. So number five, that was it for number four. We're moving on to number five, which is to save your golden ticket till the end. So for those who aren't familiar with the rules of the OSCP exam, you only get one shot with Metasploit. Now you can use it to catch shells, but you can't use it to exploit. So I recommend saving this to your last four to six hours. So you take your nap, you have your golden tool, your ticket ready to go. It's, I use it as a Hail Mary, right? I should be able to manually exploit all these, but if I'm tired, maybe I need a little help. Maybe it's something I can't figure out how to do manually, but there's a pre-built Metasploit module for it. Think about that, but save it till the end. I don't recommend using it first shot because if you use it more than twice, you're going to fail your exam. It is not allowed. Save it till you really, really absolutely need it. All right, that's it. Thanks for taking this journey with us here at the Cyber Union. We love to help you guys out. If there's something you need from us, we'd love to help you. Let us know in the comments below what we can do to help you be successful in getting into a career in information security or just getting more knowledge to make you more successful. If you have taken your exam after watching this video, come back, let us know which ones helped you out or let the other viewers know what you wish you would have known before you went into the exam. Until next time, we love having you here at the Cyber Union. See you later.